Hi, welcome to the next channel. So ever since after posting my uh, previous episode on uh, building my own uh, user space uh, network stack, I got a few uh, queries uh, from viewers and also recently I had a discussion uh, uh, with my friend. So often I get queries like why not uh, DPDK and how do you differentiate uh, your uh, stack objectives versus uh, you know dptk or something like that so which is when i thought uh, other than uh, of course i have discussed to an extent uh, in my previous episode but still i thought uh, i can uh, discuss a little bit further so that it gets quite interesting see uh, if you explore about uh, uh, you know dptk and uh, some of the objectives of uh, dptk you can see here the name itself says it's a data plane uh, uh, development kit it is more like a you know uh, sdk it's a kit uh, just like you find uh, nvidia's uh, you know uh, cuda offload uh, kit okay so it is also in a, a kit so it is uh, a platform to enable uh, developers or uh, you know uh, to come with uh, i mean it's a platform to enable uh, uh, you know network uh, uh, stack developers to uh, leverage this uh, you know uh, dpdk platform and then uh, they can come up with their own solutions they can make uh, network appliances or whatever it is they can leverage this uh, you know dpdk so that's the main objective of uh, you know dpdk and at the same time uh, by uh, removing the kernel dependency in the user space uh, it can also give a much more optimized uh, you know uh, performance uh, so you don't have to deal each uh, packet going through each layer in the kernel uh, network stack linux kernel uh, networking subsystem rather than that uh, dpdk directly it pulls to the user space and from there uh, you can uh, process uh, whichever way you want so it has a different set of objectives uh, so that way you can see here since it's a uh, you know development kit it's a sdk you can see here uh, uh, they have provided an extensive uh, uh, programmer's guide and they have also documented various apis and uh, other stuff so because it's it's a sdk actually like any other you know <laughs> sdk it should have all this uh, you know documentation so that you can use it and uh, you can uh, take each sample and then you can modify and you can come up with your own uh, you know stuff so you can find a lot of uh, sample code and also the list of apis and uh, in case if you are uh, interested with respect to any api you can uh, you know go through the documentation and stuff so dpdk has a different uh, set of objectives uh, when i compare with what i want to what i am intended to do uh, see i'm i'm not against the dpdk it's uh, it is meant for something else actually versus what i am thinking is uh, uh, to completely abstract uh, Linux uh, kernel's uh, network stack and then uh, uh, come up with, uh, you know, um, control plane, management plane uh, stuff in the user space uh, along with the data plane stuff in the user space so that right now whatever is in the kernel space, the way it has been exposed, it is not that convenient. Suppose if you want to change some uh, uh, parameters you need to use the io control apis like i discussed in the previous episode but at the same time if you want to get any statistics uh, like uh, you know port statistics or something again you need to pull you know via proc interface or something like that see if config you get this uh, port statistics and as well as this uh, port ip and other stuff so each and everything is having a different uh, type of interface uh, when it comes to eth tool uh, functionality you can see here eth tool minus uh, k uh, en01 uh, when it comes to eth tool functionality it gets it uh, via some other uh, you know platform i i believe it is also an io control interface see uh, these are the things you have each and everything is communicated in a different way and when it comes to using the network services you use the socket apis and uh, stuff like that the big issue with the sockets itself is the socket apis are quite old they are almost like the, you know three decades old uh, stuff or more than that so what i want to come up with is a simpler layer so that uh, you can utilize uh, some of the core uh, functionality of any network stack like um, uh, you know uh, creating uh, udp or uh, tcp you know uh, stuff uh, in the case of tcp it is tcp connections in the case of udp it is a udp session whatever it is and other than that uh, you have this uh, raw socket access as well but i want to completely 
uh, get away with the you know socket level approach the, again like i said in the previous episode there is something called as ff tag the problem is uh, they are using the dpdk as the underneath the framework and on top they are uh, providing a well established interface like sockets but the problem with the sockets is it's again um, i mean it is easy to adapt but it is quite outdated okay as far as i i uh, you know perceive this okay so which is why i feel uh, in the case of uh, dpdk see their objective itself is completely different they want to provide a very high speed uh, uh you know uh, interface or high speed platform or a framework with which you can build your own networking uh, uh, appliances and other network related applications okay so this is their objective whereas in my situation i want to address uh, more situations like uh, namespaces and uh, multi dimensionality of uh, you know network interfaces and also port mapping and uh, stuff like that so we don't have that you know flexibility when you access the bare metal and when you access the standard kernel you have this network namespace uh, but again you need to deal with this uh, kernel complication <laughs> and uh, you don't have any uh, unified uh, interface to deal all these things and on the other side you have also other uh, workarounds if you want uh, virtual interfaces you have this uh, virtual uh, Uh, interfaces concept in linux if not you need to use a ten tap interface and uh, stuff like that so each has its own uh, role each has its own uh, method it has evolved time to time and we have all this stuff but in my case what i'm thinking is uh, to provide a sort of unified uh, interface like i said in my previous episode each of this command whatever you use say for instance this eth tool or else uh, if config whatever it is each command is coming from a different uh, source and that includes the uh, commands like netstat minus uh, l and uh, stuff like that each command is coming from a different source and uh, each source itself may be an uh, individual open source project okay so this is what so with this type of an approach what is happening is you have some core functionality in the linux kernel but when it comes to the user space you don't have that unified interface and also it it is a question of convenience so i want to experiment and see that what is the sort of a solution i can come up where in which i get basic uh, network services so at the same time i can add some extra layers because now we are in the user space we can add any number of layers and any number of interfaces and some interfaces can be a virtual uh, uh, hardware interfaces some interfaces can be dynamically linked or hooked to the nic card some can be you know unhooked and then uh, uh, you know it can be swapped around and the stuff like that i am completely thinking in a different you know uh, set of possibilities because it is an entire stack is in the user space uh, you can uh, uh, you know do lot many things than what it is uh, possible with the existing um, you know model so let's let's not include all the time dpdk see their objective itself like i said it's an stk but in my situation i'm thinking uh, uh, more like a micro kernel approach uh, in the case of micro kernel some of the kernel uh, subsystems are in the user space uh, similarly in the case of linux or freebsd whatever it is i want to chop down its uh, you know network functionality happening in the kernel space and instead use the user space stack and uh, leverage its um, you know uh, possibilities so i may support a set of uh, uh, you know very few Uh, apis uh, uh, you know so that uh, third party applications can use this apis uh, to get networking services but on the other side i'm also more focused towards the you know management aspects and control aspects of this uh, you know entire stuff so i need to you know come up with a sort of a, a thing that it addresses these aspects first and then uh, also the core uh, network uh, you know aspects as well so i have a kind of vague idea i mean i need to sort of do uh, things uh, step by step and uh, i need to do from the scratch uh, okay i can't take anything as a reference model all i can take as a reference model rather than uh, you know dpdk i want to see uh, i want to take the existing uh, linux uh, subsystem itself as the reference model whatever happens partly in the kernel space whatever happens partly in the user space i, I just want to make a way that the entire thing uh, you know is possible with the user space and then kernel is just used as a, a, a way to map these uh, you know ports of this uh, 
you know uh, stack whichever i'm doing okay so this is what so it sounds quite crazy unless until i have some sort of a, a working demo then you will get some idea that what i'm talking about but in the case of a question like dptk versus men i feel that dptk has entire set of different objectives and uh, i'm not uh, uh, you know saying it is wrong or it is not good or something like that it has a different set of objectives and i feel i need to come up with uh, a solution where uh, it addresses the other aspects of a network stack and uh, it completely i can decouple the kernel network stack even i can do a compile and uh, you know disable the entire ip layer uh, ipv4 support ipv6 support and other uh, you know stuff and uh, i can abstract as much as possible and uh, get everything pulled to the user space and in the user space do whichever way i want i can use uh, various uh, ways to communicate uh, these uh, packets within applications in case if it is local host to local host i can uh, do whichever way i want so it opens a complete set of possibilities which uh, you know unless until it is uh, you know done and experimented you know we cannot much you know get an idea okay since we have a reference model like dpdk most of the times either dpdk or else the other one uh, like uh, uh, you know nusc news or whatever uh, you know you may compare but the thing is uh, i need to come up with some sort of a working uh, you know uh, uh, bare uh, minimum experimental setup so that you can have a look and get some idea so most probably i'm i'm already started but uh, you know i may do something which is uh, which can be showed to the viewers uh, sometime uh, you know uh, end of this month or sometime uh, in the upcoming uh, month most probably so because i just want to complete uh, you know the base, basic uh, you know uh, look and feel as much as possible and as well as uh, to do some uh, very basic uh, you know uh, network stack functionality let it be just a udp or else if not an ip layer let it be just some type of raw socket like functionality within this uh, you know user space uh, network stack i need to do that i need to come up with some type of a plan how i coordinate and stuff see these are the challenges you will get with most of the micro kernel uh, based operating systems as well because when you have things pulled to the user space uh, you no longer have the luxury of uh, kernel like communication kernel most of the cases within their subsystem uh, it communicates via callback apis it communicates via api to api uh, stuff like that but in my situation the moment you pull it to the user space you it becomes a context like a process so the stack runs like a process and uh, if in case the other third party applications using the stack will become another process so you need to deal the basic ipc you know overhead um, you know it can be message queues sockets whatever it is you need to deal this ipcs and um, you need to come up with some type of optimized uh, uh, plan or else let it be even uh, shared memory whatever it is so you need to address all this uh, you know challenges but on the other side it gives the complete uh, control for you it is not a situation uh, like uh, linux kernel where you do something and then you compile the entire kernel and then you will come to know the result uh, once it is fully built but in my case uh, as it is going to run as a process i have uh, superior control i can kill it i can just uh, you know change some parameters i can add a print uh, statements here and there and then uh, compile it it is going to take only a couple of seconds and then again uh, i can uh, start the daemon whatever it is so it's quite easy in that way but on the other side it is going to be a lot more scatter scattered and uh, i need to orchestrate this uh, you know inter process uh, communication since the stack is in the user space okay and also abstract this so that you don't uh, you know do this ipc uh, with standard apis instead use my abstract apis or some stuff like that but uh, priority or the focus is not about building a sdk like approach like what you have it in uh, dpdk i want to more prioritize first about the uh, basic services uh, and then uh, provide some type of a layer or a you know uh, you know api set so that uh, you know uh, i can write some sample applications on uh, top of it and also not to prioritize about the performance at this point of time because i'm not doing it for the you know context of performance i'm doing it 
for the context of conveniency okay last but not least uh, when i think about uh, user space uh, networking it is also something i have done uh, to an extent uh, trials uh, with uh, my uh, toffee itself uh, ever since i have moved uh, from uh, kernel space to the user space uh, it has an entire uh, you know self sustained uh, you know packet forward the path uh, this is also something long back i have discussed in extensively in an episode okay so that episode is meant for oem sodiums and you know other clients but anyway um, uh, it is something uh, you know uh, successfully been put in the toffee uh, it uh, uh, completely takes away a lot of uh, issues which i traditionally faced with having uh, uh, uh before toffee the traffic squeezer in the kernel space so once it moved to the user space i have full control i can uh, leverage whichever way i want uh, either through multi processing or multiple threads or a mixture of processing and uh, i mean processors and threads okay multiple uh, process and uh, threads or it can be even uh, split across multiple systems as well in case if it is meant for huge uh, data center uh, deployment where you need to process uh, several uh, you know gigabit uh, uh, you know uh, path network uh, uh, you know lanes okay so in that case it can be even put across a uh, multiple server so this type of architecture it allows me okay so that's the main objective of uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, transitioning uh, from uh, traffic squeezer to the toffee and then toffee to the toffee data center so that it allows such an option so same way if i do a network stack it has some object uh, you know objectives where uh, i can do uh, something similar where i can uh, uh, you know um, uh, support uh, uh, you know sort of what you get with containers at the same time we can also do you know uh, much more uh, you know flexible way because it is uh, uh, no more as a part of kernel i mean you can uh, spawn as many instances as possible and uh, you can spawn any uh, vrfs for instance you can make any number of vrfs uh, if you want you can also do uh, you know without having a context like tun tap you can have another simpler interface and then you can have uh, some features like tun tap what you know currently you get so this is what it is so all these things are possible uh, the moment we are out of this ecosystem the thing is it is completely we are out of that ecosystem we no longer use the linux ecosystem we just use it uh, to couple the packets to this network stack that's it unlike dpdk again dpdk completely it even chops off that barrier it directly gets you know from the device to the user space whereas in my situation i'm i'm not interested about that nor i'm uh, you know uh, want to give anything which is like dptk provides it's a complete different objective so i want to sort of do that what i was able to achieve with the toffee uh, with user space networking packet forward so same way here i can get some leverage where i get uh, more flexible uh, control over this uh, uh you know enter uh, network stack uh, sometimes it can be since it is uh, highly portable sometimes it can be also be used for uh, you know micro kernel uh, architectures as well non linux micro kernel architectures as well if not free bsd okay so that is also a possibility so so I, unless uh, you know it is uh, done uh, step by step we will never know what are the possibilities so if you guys have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye